guys, Coach Alberto here for another session of our full work of this 21 Turkin Fencing Challenge. For this uh, specific full work, we're gonna need our three cones. So, once you set up your cones, let's get started. This time, we're gonna talk about our first and second intention going forward. However, we're gonna do it without being in a static position. This time, we're gonna do it by taking one step and then after that, making our decision whether we're gonna go in first or in second. So again, make sure that you get yourself warmed up with a few steps. Besides your warm up, to get sure, get uh, sure that you are getting hitting the cones every single time. Once you're done a couple of times, let's get ourselves to a drill. This time, we're gonna take one step. Again, for right now, our step doesn't have to be fast. In fact, it actually has to be from a low to a medium speed. We're not really trying to be any aggressive in the first step, it's actually our second step that we're trying to get a reaction or a touch out of our opponent. Let's start ourselves with our first intention. So again, make sure that you take your first step very smoothly. Once you finish, immediately trying to accelerate to try to touch your opponent. Make sure that once you finish, you stay in your lunge for a couple of seconds before you recover. Let's see how it looks like one more time. Good. Once we're done, this time, we're going to do it in second intention. Again, it is essential that our step for right now is not trying to be anything faster than our second step. Our first step is trying to get ourselves a little bit closer to our opponent before we decide to set up an action. Again, as we talk about in our second intention uh, video, there are three things that can happen. So let's work on our first one, which will be pretty much the most essential one that we'll have. So we'll take our step and our second intention step. And for right now, we can shadow ourselves defending with either four or circle six and making our pose. Once you're done, you can walk back to your combs and try again. Good. Let me know how you guys are doing with this forward. This time, we're gonna do it with our opponent actually moving backwards. So again, if you have enough space, Definitely you can go several amount of, of steps. If you don't have that much space, you can at least go one more after that slow and fast step. So it'll look something like this. Be sure to take at least one more step after you slow and uh, accelerate again with your back foot. You can do the same thing with a slow, fast and your lunge. Again, it's up to your imagination and how you're visualizing your opponent to be as you're getting yourself into that position. So let's see how that looks like. Good, let's try that one more time. Good, and after this, you can mix all of the things that you have. Make sure that you are able to visualize and keep yourself creative into different instances of how your opponent is reacting and that you are hitting the mark of what it is that you want to do. Uh, please guys, as always, please make sure that you share your progress and hashtag us with our Turk and Fencing Challenge. And I'll see you guys on the next video.